Last year, Freddie Flintoff experienced a terrifying crash when turning at just 22 miles per hour, which may have led to the demise of the Top Gear franchise. The Morgan Super 3 vehicle overturned around the first bend of the circuit at Dunsfold Park Aerodrome while being filmed, according to insiders who spoke to the Mail on Sunday. The former cricketer was not wearing a helmet at the time. Flintoff horrifically scraped his face. A number of the Top Gear staff sought counselling as a result of the scene, according to shaken witnesses. It happened as the BBC Today refuted suggestions that the show had been cancelled as a result of Flintoff's injury. Following the event in December, according to a story in the Sun newspaper, the corporation has instructed production personnel to seek out alternative employment. The schedule of future Top Gear programs, however, will be decided in due course with BBC content, a BBC spokesman informed the Mail. When Flintoff, 45, came out to coach the England cricket team last month, scars were evident on his face, and it appeared like he needed numerous procedures subsequently. According to a source, despite the terrible effects, this high-speed crash was not what people were referring to. The automobile actually flipped over while travelling at 22 miles per hour. There is a ton of footage, and it has been thoroughly examined. I am aware that manufacturers Morgan told the BBC, doing its inquiry, that the automobile was in perfect working order. The health and safety executive looked into it and determined that the BBC had no case to answer. The BBC also conducted an investigation and engaged in discussions with Freddie's team to determine who was at fault. Freddie wasn't wearing a helmet, but he wasn't required to given the circumstances. He was on a private track, and the car has a halo safety system, making it acceptable to drive without a helmet. He scraped his face along the tarmac as the automobile flipped as they were just getting started and on the first corner. The stunt was supposed to be a part of the second of five concerts, but the decision to cancel the entire run cost more than five million pounds. Around half a dozen employees have been let go, while 40 freelancers' contracts have not been renewed. According to the source, people have been laid off on the grounds that it won't be coming back for a while. For 2023-2024, it has not been recommissioned. The BBC is currently conducting a second review with the help of an unnamed external third party. A wide variety of people who have been engaged in developing Top Gear over the last several years, according to sources, are being interviewed by the reviewer. In addition to one particular day in December 2022, it also examines the show's culture, scope and structure. The question that it will attempt to address is whether it can or should continue in the future. It's probable that it will advise against amateur presenters competing and only allow trained professional race car drivers. In the meanwhile, Flintoff will produce a second season of his BBC program, Field of Dreams, in which he coaches disadvantaged children from Lancashire and works to develop them into successful cricket players. That is scheduled to begin production later this year and may be a sign that Flintoff's crew and BBC Studios, the creator of Top Gear, have reached a financial agreement. Last month, the Mail on Sunday speculated that the actor may receive millions of pounds in compensation. The concept first debuted in 1977 as a BBC Midlands magazine show, and it achieved its pinnacle under the leadership of the Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard Hammond, presenting Trio. Hammond suffered severe injuries in a collision in 2006 and spent two weeks in a coma. The BBC was criticised in a study by the health and safety executive for having a gung-ho approach to safety. After Clarkson became physical with a show producer after filming, the group disbanded in 2015. The Grand Tour was later produced for Amazon.